I'm Dr Beth Fulton, I'm the Head of Marine Ecosystem Modelling at the CSIRO. I work in the Oceans and Atmosphere flagship and I was a member of the OCE Science Leaders Program. I've always loved the oceans ever since my parents used to take me to the beach. I snuck out one day on them when I wasn't allowed to and there were some dolphins playing in the surf and I was pretty much hooked from then. So ecosystems are really complex, but just like you can paint a complicated picture with paint, the same way you can use mathematical relationships to put that jigsaw puzzle together. So each part of the ecosystem gets represented by a mathematical relationship and you piece those together and you make a, a virtual ecosystem inside the computer and from there you can then build it up and look how it would run forward. So there's always new facts to find out, new things to explore. Literally last week we only found out about the way that the most common animal on the planet actually works on a daily basis. We were the first in the world to explore the ecosystem effects of the evolution of fish size and that's now been picked up by the University of Helsinki. There's something new every single day and that's what keeps you going. Ecosystem models are used to help inform decision making in Australia and all around the world. So that can give an idea of how many fish it's okay to take or how many turtles might be getting caught as bycatch and those kind of ideas. So you just get a much more complete information set which can help then make decisions. The OCE science leadership was a great release just to be able to think about what's needed going forward, the new science that'll be the new direction setting into the future. I really think ecosystem models will be a key part of strategic planning into the future. We need to be aware of climate change and the conservation issues that will come up with that as well. So having models help interpret that will be a key part, I think, of how we actually tackle those complicated questions 10 years from now, 50 years from now, or even longer into the future.